whilst there's an awful lot of talk about 5G, there's a lot of mileage left in 4G. I mean, LTE and LTE Advanced, they're starting to mature, but there are many, many years left of LTE evolution, which will continue in parallel uh, to, to, the, to the start of a 5G activity. But 5G is an opportunity to, to really rethink and come up with something that is new, a new radio interface, a new approach to the core network, um, maybe a fully virtualized network, uh, but that, that will exist in parallel to the evolution of the LTE track. Well, we always look at uh, LTE technology as the mobile broadband foundation for 5G. So when you, you talk about a two-pronged approach, we don't really see that at, at, from 5G Americas. We look at the mobile broadband foundation with LTE, LTE Advanced, LTE Advanced Pro, but actually interlaying 5G new innovations and new technology standards on top of that. So we think the combination of LTE and 5G will be what will be providing great innovative products and services for a long time uh, for the customer. The emerging consensus is will continue to evolve LTE in a big way. There will be a strong evolution of LTE. At the same time, we will do a new radio, which is much more capable and it can address, again, the connectivity needs of the future, including a very efficient way to deliver mobile broadband services, but at the same time, enable way more uh, diverse set of services that we can do with the existing platform in an optimal way. Because, of course, the existing platform, it was designed to be more mobile uh, broadband oriented, we are expanding it in a, because there are some short term needs and with some success, but maybe it's not as efficient as rethinking the, uh, the system uh, so that it's also optimized for these new services. And that's what we're going to try to do with the new radio. So we're going to have this dual approach, a strong LT evolution at the same time, a new radio, a new architecture for uh, catering really the long term uh, needs of the, our customers. If we look at all this service, service aspect from the end users, they don't care about any infrastructural uh, change. They only look at the uh, service. So from the, that service aspect, I don't believe it's a drastic change. Only one observation is we provide really real-time service, like uh, uh, ultra uh, contact uh, internet service, uh, automatic driving. Yeah? So we, without this, except of this, all other services, very naturally moving forward. So I don't believe this is a, has any troubles of these steps. Yeah, I don't believe so. Yeah. Yeah, 5G is very much a dual approach because we're seeing the you know, evolution of LTE to a LTE Advanced Pro. Uh, and we're seeing it really splitting into two areas. We've got the core network that is becoming more 5G-like, and that could happen first. And then in the uh, radio access network, you know, there will be a new air link. Um, and uh, an and advanced pro will actually take us some way towards 5G services. So it's, a, it's almost like a two-pronged a two approach to bringing 5G to the marketplace. When you look at the standards timelines, the first 5G standard is not going to be finished until mid-2018. It'll continue with what we call release 16 in 2019. Uh, and that'll just be the beginning of, of real 5G. LTE and its evolution will be here for many, many years. We continue to evolve that. And right now, that technology delivers a, a world-class experience to our customer base. The existing system will continue to evolve. And we have to be careful that there is a tension does not develop between the onward evolution of the system that we have and this new system. I think uh, five months is, is very ambitious for, for a release cycle. And so we have to understand the, the features that we develop are incremental, and they build. And so what we can expect from release 15 and 16 when the functionality will begin to appear, we'll have to be understanding that, that we will uh, achieve what the community can agree to, which may be a piece of, of the overall vision for IMT 2020.